Hello everyone, this is David from the Grow Sundews Guide on YouTube and in this video I wanted to highlight a Drosera flower dissection and how to hand pollinate these. So this is a Drosera capensis big pink flower and I chose this flower because it's, pro it's one of the larger flowers in my collection and the flowers tend to stay open for a pretty long time. Like, if I did this with Drosera spatulata, it would probably be curling up by now. I've already had it just sitting here for about seven or eight minutes, and it's it hasn't done anything yet. So, so first I want to show you uh, the parts of the flower. And I'll be using some tools. I'll let you guys know what these tools are, so you guys can get them yourselves if you want to make some Drosera hybrids. And it's it makes it a lot easier when you have the right tools. So... Okay, here we go. So, these yellow sort of things that are above the these pink lobed things. Okay, so the, these are the male parts of the flower called the anthers. The very tip of them is called anther, and the sort of stalk that they're on is called the filament. I can point it out to you here. This is the filament, which leads up to this. A sexual producing organ. So at the very tip is where the pollen is produced. You can see that kind of yellow. I'm not sure if you could, yeah, okay, so you can see that little piece of pollen I got off from the anther itself. There should be loose pollen on there, and if there's not, there's a couple of things you can do. So let's say you're crossing this with another plant. You want to remove these pretty much when you're crossing two plants you want to remove these yellow bits no matter what so first I'll show you guys how that's done this is a pair of really small scissors that are called cuticle scissors so they're actually for nail care or whatever but they work pretty nicely for flowers Let's see if I can snip these off okay so I su successfully removed one and conventionally you would take your anther with the ripe pollen on it and you're going to grip it with these tweezers so these are dental tweezers they're really long and they have sharp tips and I think that's important for how tiny these things are so then ideally you want to you want to pollinate these little pink lobes and these pink lobes are the receptive stigma. So this is the female part. So what I'm doing here is I'm essentially pollinating this plant's, you know, pollinating its own flower. So I'm self-pollinating. Of course, it won't do anything because this flower was removed from the stalk. But this is just for demonstration purposes. And you'll see the the yellow coming off onto these pink lobes, and that's a good sign. So, but oftentimes I'll do this, and there will be no ripe pollen on the anther. So, the answer to that is what you want to do is you want to take your your anther and your tweezer, and you just want to deposit it, just like that. You just want to place it on one of the stigmas. And so what this does is when the flower's closed up, the pollen on that anther stalk will continue to ripen up, so over the course of a few days, more pollen will be shed onto the stigma, which is really useful, especially because like it cuts down on your time of having to do this. So you can easily remove the anthers with your scissors and place them in other flowers and pretty much not have to worry about anything. The only thing you have to worry about is the pollen, when you're transferring the pollen to another flower, you have to keep in mind that in that other flower, these little anthers need to be removed because if you're crossing two plants, you don't want anything to be, you don't want any self reproduction going on. So, so these will breed with, these, these will help the plant reproduce on its own in self pollination. So, ideally, you'd want to uh, go ahead and just remove them so this plant when you do cross-pollinate it, the only seeds you will get 
is from your efforts and not the plant's own effort of self-pollination. So just moving on to some of the kind of lesser known flower parts. 